Welcome back to Adventures in Bread Making with Doug. Today we're going to do uh, Italian loaf. Uh, this will be kind of fun, a little different. Uh, we're going to have just a few simple ingredients. It'll be our yeast and water. Now this water It's about 96, 97 degrees. It's uh, 473 grams. And we're going to put two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast in the mix. Just kind of get that to dissolve a little bit. And um, we're going to add some sugar and salt. Sugar is a teaspoon. Salt is two teaspoons. Okay, I was going to give that a head start. All right, we have sugar, salt, and then flour. It's 660 grams of flour, all purpose, unbleached white. We're actually going to try to use the KitchenAid mixer today. Something you have to be careful of when you're first mixing with it. I've had a couple of flour disasters when turning it on and spitting flour everywhere. So I'm going to try to mix a fair amount of this by hand and then Use the KitchenAid to knead it. If you want to knead this by hand, that's fine. You could flour your surface and go about six to eight minutes of hand kneading. Uh, but I thought since we have the dough hook, we might want to give that a try. Okay. I wouldn't say that that's com completely mixed, but least it's not going to be making a fly around mess. Now I realize you're not going to be able to see this real well, but I'll give it a try. All right, let's use our mixing blade and we'll do this for a couple minutes and then we'll be back with the dough hook. We're going to switch our mixing blade for the dough hook. And I'd like to start this lower and then raise it up. We'll go about six minutes with this, I guess. Next step is to form it into a ball. And cover it, or put it in a um, 
bowl. And let it rise for an hour. We've taken the um, dough hook out. We have the dough um, that's been kneading. We're going to just leave it um, for an hour to rise. We're going to um, just cover it so it doesn't dry out. And put it on my warming pillow. And be back to check on that in an hour. Let's have a look at how we've done. Let's flour our work surface. You can see that, I hope you can see that we've gotten quite a bit of rise out of this. So we're going to coax it out of the bowl. Divide and shape this into two loaves. using this pan to let it rise in final proof before we bake it so we'll want to get loaf shape that'll work with that I'm going to work it too much but I don't know if I gave this one a twist. Maybe a mistake, I don't know. Okay, these are going to sit for 30 minutes. They are not going to be long. 
they look like they're going to be a little fatter. Uh, what I'm going to do with one of them, I have this Everything Bagel seasoning. I'm going to meant to roll it on, but I think if I sprinkle and pat. It may be okay. That's not the way you should be doing it, but... Okay. We're going to let those sit for a half hour. Cover them. And we'll be back. It's been almost a half hour. We've now preheated the oven at 400 degrees and before we put these in I want to put an egg wash on it. It tends these tend to have a fairly blah looking exterior so without messing it up too much. Let's see if I can get an egg wash. And maybe I should have egg washed this before I put my everything bagel seeds on here. a little more sense. Alright. We're going to put these in the oven for 20 minutes. Check on them. They may have to go to 25. And we'll let you see what a wonderful loaf they come out to be. Actually, there's one other thing and that is it's handy to take your lame and put some slashes across the top. It's been 20 minutes in the oven. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I think that'll work nicely. Actually, the edge of that one got a little stuck. I think we've got two very nice looking loaves of Italian bread.
looks good.